like to talk to you about different types of pesticide sprayers that you can use the application of pesticides in gardening situations. Uh, some of these materials would be more appropriate for larger scale gardeners. Typically, your small scale home gardener, your small scale market gardener, would purchase something like your standard backpack sprayer. There's different models out there that are available. And this model, when we first came out of the box, looking just like this. The only modification we make to it is we put a quick neck coupling on here, which is something that I would really recommend growers think about because the type of spray pattern that you get out of a nozzle that comes with this is less than ideal for most pesticide applications, particularly insecticides or fungicides where you're looking for more thorough coverage both on the upper side and underside with the leaves and things. So you can purchase these quick connect couplings and what that does is it gives you the option to simply remove it and then attach a different type of spray wand to it. You could use a shielded sprayer which would be appropriate if you were going to be applying herbicides around your plants and that controls any potential drift around your plants. Or if you're a larger scale grower and you're interested in applying herbicides or something to your field, uh, you can purchase two nozzle booms or four nozzle booms that will allow you to cover much wider areas of ground in a smaller amount of time. Uh, and time is worth something when you're a market gardener, so you need to think about that as well. These types of materials uh, certainly can be purchased in various locations, but I would recommend that if you step up to the next level, then you might consider something like a CO2 backpack sprayer, which would be uh, even more expensive, but it would allow you to cover more area. One of the advantages to a CO2 type sprayer, however, is it allows you to more accurately control your pressures in your sprayer. Your standard backpack sprayer uh, does not have a pressure regulator in it. There are more professional models that are available that do have a pressure regulator inside that will somewhat help to control that. Otherwise, when you're using this type of sprayer, you have to continually pump the handle to keep the pressures up so that you're getting a consistent application rate. And one thing to keep in mind when you're applying herbicides is that you want to apply at low pressures. Uh, so this would be a little bit more difficult to keep at low pressures. You can actually purchase inline pressure regulators that screw onto the wand ahead of the uh, coupling, which will allow you to dial down the pressure so you could uh, still use something like this if you wanted to. But the thing to keep in mind with herbicide applications, unlike insecticide and fungicide applications, with herbicide applications, you're looking for large droplets at low pressure, which will minimize the amount of drift that you're getting uh, from your sprayer.